New regulations for cannabis, edibles, and topicals come into play today. And this morning, we're looking at what that means from a medical perspective. To do that, we're joined by Dr. Maria Campos. Doctor, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Okay, so in terms of ingesting um, the cannabis in, in, in the form of an edible, how is that different from smoking it or vaping it? So the main distinction is in the way it is metabolized and its psychoactive ingredients. So we know that when cannabis is smoked or vaporized, it is heated, it is converted into delta 9 THC, which is the active ingredient. That is transferred from the lungs to the bloodstream and into the brain within a matter of 10 minutes. The effects will last about two to three hours, whereas with edibles, the um, ingested cannabis has to first be digested by our system and then uh, it has to pass by the liver where it is converted into its active metabolite, which is completely different. It's called alpha-hydroxy-THC, which is an, a more potent and uh, longer-lasting active metabolite. So um, even though the entire process takes about one to two hours, uh, the effects are more stronger and they can uh, actually last eight to even 12 hours. Okay, so those are the psychoactive effects. What about the effects on our biology? If, if it's going through a completely different part of our body and in a completely different way, what are the health um, uh, effects of that? So we know that for smoking, for example, there's the inhaled carcinogens, the irritants, and the carbon monoxide that can enter our lungs and lead to serious respiratory health effects. For vaporized cannabis, we know that there may be a less, harm, less harmful alternative. However, we don't still understand its full health effects. Uh, with edibles, there's no carcinogenic effects, so many consumers may prefer this method of ingesting it. However, the risk is more related to the overdosing of cannabis so well, that was one thing that I, yeah. I, I read a lot about uh, in, in the Colorado experiment which was everything was seemed to be humming along very very well and yet people didn't know how to how to dose themselves um, exactly. properly with the edibles and also a lot of children were getting into it that, that's a separate exactly. conversation yes and that takes us back to the way it is metabolized which uh, for people who might be first-time users in those couple first hours where they're not having any effects they may be tempted to ingest more and then that leads to the more serious adverse effects like paranoia, hallucinations, psychosis, um, and that can last for prolonged periods of time. Uh, lastly, what, what do we need to know? What else do we need to know about this new frontier in legal cannabis? So uh, one thing is, like you said, the public health concern that there is with accidental ingestion by children or even by our pets um, that uh, you know poses a, a huge health risk to the population, but also um, uh, the fact that uh, we shouldn't be consuming it uh, with alcohol and uh, that we, if we have any other health issues, that we shouldn't really um, be uh, consuming cannabis. All right. Well, if you don't know, now you know. Dr. Campos, thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.